Hey, this is Peter from frugalera.com. Today, I just want to show you how to make chicken cutlets a really easy, simple way so you can save some money and have something great at home. It's really easy and no one should be afraid to make chicken cutlets. And the cool thing is, you can set it all up, you can make a pile of them, and you can eat them all week. They'll probably last more than two weeks in the fridge if you cover them up. So, what I've got here is, I've got a bunch of chicken breasts, I've got some breadcrumbs, Progresso, you don't have to use these, you can use whatever you want. There's all kinds of different breadcrumbs, you can experiment. That's the cool thing about doing it yourself. Got a couple of eggs, and I got some bowls and a fork. I've gone out of my way not to use anything that's specialized here because I want everybody to know that this is really easy to do at home. There's some people along the way who will tell you how to do this, but they make it more complicated than it actually has to be. Okay, so let's get started, and I'll show you how to do these. and. You'll love it, and you'll save money, and your kids will love it, and your wife will love it, and your husband will love it, and your mother-in-law, everybody's going to love it. So, Okay, so I've got four chicken breasts here. Just make sure you wash these, and make sure you keep your hands clean. It's not a big deal. Just rinse them with water, pat them dry with some paper towel. Simple as that. I've just got four of them here. I didn't actually buy chicken cutlets. I just bought these breasts. They're not terribly thick. And here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we are going to break... Two regular eggs into here, break two eggs, and we're going to just like this until they're all stewed up together. Okay, so after it's beat, you got this uh, nice smooth egg mixture, you just uh, toss it in a bowl. Notice I'm just using plates and a couple of bowls, I'm not using anything overly fancy. Now some people say, you can throw a little bit of milk in with the eggs, that has some value and helps the flavor and everything else. We'll do that just to make the other people who just to make those other people happy. But you don't have to use the milk, I often don't. I like to keep it simple. If it's, if it's too complicated, then I don't do it. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. Next we're just gonna take some progressive breadcrumbs. I'm gonna dump them in here. And we're gonna dredge everything through. Notice I've got a plate over here that's ready to receive the prepared cutlet devices. So here's a chicken cutlet. I'm just going to throw it in the egg. And I'm going to throw it in the breadcrumbs. No big deal. Gets a little bit on your hands, but that's what's fun. It's really funny. Okay, I've got four lovely chicken breasts all ready for cooking. It just took me a couple of minutes to beat an egg and pour some breadcrumbs into a bowl. That's all I did. Uh, to, uh, of course, I had the other thing I had to do was I had to open up. I had to open up the chicken and I had to rinse it off, but that took another two minutes. So I think I'm into this for six minutes so far. Okay. So next, I have just a regular nonstick fry pan, and I'm going to heat it up. Basic tip: don't pour the oil in till it's heated. And of course, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to put the chicken in until the oil is hot. Okay, so I think the pan, I think the pan is hot enough now. I'm just going to pour enough oil in the pan so that it's comfortably covered. I'll show this to you in a second. Probably about, I don't know, half a cup of oil. We're not deep frying, we're just lightly frying. We're not deep frying. And I'm using extra virgin cold pressed olive oil because it has the best taste and it's the healthiest oil there is. So here's how much oil I put in, okay, not all that much, but three minutes aside, rule of thumb, but there's a trick to this, I'll show you what that trick is. So I'm putting the chicken in, I'm going to do two at a time, you could probably do three at a time, but for the sake of this video, let's just do two at a time. And I'm going to set my timer, I should have had an oven timer for this. So I set it at three minutes, and I'm waiting for three minutes to go by. What's important is a lot of people get tempted to mess around with the chicken and turn it and move it around. The trick is to leave it alone. That's the trick. Three minutes, don't touch it. And I don't know how hot your stove is, but it's what we would call a lively heat. Maybe not full blast. Probably, you know, on a scale of one to ten, you're probably at a seven or something like that. And just let it sit. Three minutes, flip it. Another three minutes. Simple as that. There they are. Two beautiful chicken cutlets. I'm waiting for that three minutes to pass. 
So that was three minutes on the first side, and I'm three minutes on the second side. These are a little bit thick, so I'll add a few seconds. You can experiment. You're going to have to experiment with the heat on your stove, because some stoves are a lot hotter than others. Uh, and you'll have to experiment with uh, different thicknesses. But pretty much, you can use three minutes as a benchmark, and you'll get a sense really quickly of how long it's going to take before these are done. Okay, so we've done our three minutes aside. I'll turn the flame off, because you got to always remember to turn the flame off. You'll see the chicken cutlets. Just a little brown on the outside. And you'll notice they're perfect on the inside. And these things are so freaking good. Mmm, great. Okay, so remember to keep your countertops clean. Remember to wash your chicken, at least rinse it. And just remember to keep track of, you know, what's been touching raw chicken and what hasn't been touched raw chicken because you don't want to pass salmonella, salmonella on to your family or to yourself. But with a little careful preparation, laying everything out, deciding where you're going to put the raw, where you're going to put the, uh, the cooked, and you should have no problem. And that's how you do it. And these things are really great. Um, it's better if they're a little bit thinner, and it's easier to cook if they're a little bit thinner, but you can use a two and a half to three minute time as a benchmark. And if you want to coat the chicken with a little bit of flour before you put it in the egg, and then you put it in the breadcrumbs, you can do that. A lot of people like that, but I found that you don't have to do that. And if you're in a hurry, you don't want to dig out a big bag of flour too. So this is Peter from Frugalera. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned to this website for tips on how to save money and live well.